Good morning, beautiful people. Once again, it's Aisha V here, but I'm back with social media trends on the weekend show. It's been an exciting week so far. We've got so much to cover, and I'll do my best to give you a bit of everything. First things first, of course, our song of the week is currently trending as number 10 on YouTube with about 4.5 million views. It's none other than Young John with the song Shapali. Check it out. for today. As you know, there's been a lot going on with our Afrobeat artist. You know, Shake has just sold out the O2 Arena in London just a few weeks back. Now it seems like Ashake has started his purchases. I always let you know how our celebrities are buying extraordinary gifts for themselves. Ashake has bought a brand new car for himself. He revealed that on his Instagram story where he puts, I've joined the G gang. You already know what that means. The range he purchased for himself is approximately about 170 million naira alone. Shake has become a big boy now. We can't seem to lie about that. You know, with his songs released, his album released back to back, here's another image of the car here for you to see a better view because this means that it's a 2023 model and he is not holding back when it comes to his style and of course his, when I say arrivals now. As you all know, Shake did uh, go to America for the Hedy's Award. He was there live in Atlanta. He's currently still going around for his press tours where he mentioned that he might have a beautiful collaboration with Kanye. West. Well, he wished and brought out the favor in a form of a request. Hopefully, it's granted very soon. Where Ashake mentioned to the interviewer on Billboard News about him teaming up with, Asha, with Kanye West and other collaborations. Take a look at this video clip to share more on that. Amazing. Of course, indeed, that would be amazing. I'm looking forward to that. As you know, Ashake has already collaborated with The Baby, who's an American artist himself. Now he's looking on to Kanye West. Bigger things for our Afrobeat artists. Honestly, I'm very, very excited. We're now straight to our reggae dancehall singer, as we all know, Pato Rankin has actually announced uh, his new album. Now, guys, this is his fourth release, and it's called World Best. Pato Rankin has been, of course, very sensational. He has released his much anticipated album called World Best, which features four of his previously released songs titled Higher, Abobi, Tonight, featuring Popcorn, and Kolo Kolo, our very popular song. Uh, the 15-track album also includes collaboration with Victoni, Ludacris, Kiss Daniel, Zion Foster, and Beanie Man. These are names of international artists. Acts, guys. Honestly, it's becoming really, really awesome to see our Afrobeats artists going international. Now you can say Afrobeats is global. There's no denial in that. As you know, Pataranke is always full of surprises. He dropped the teaser on his Instagram account. Take a look at this for his album, World Best. bit of a teaser. It's like the kind of music you should expect from Pato Ranking. He also mentioned um, World Best out today, September 6th. My musical journey hasn't always been an easy one, the musician tells us. And he says, but still we rise, like Maya Angelou said. May her soul rest in peace. All right, I have a few comments here for you on Pato Ranking album from our viewers and of course comments on Instagram. We have some here to share with you. As you can see here on the screen, the first comment that you can see, Ludacris 2 is there where he puts crown. And you also can see another one from Pato Ranking Fire responded to this love. I love to see this from our artists. You have from Victor Adir who says, world best, nobody's opposed. We have Zion Foster who says, big bro, thank you so much. Hashtag W-O-T-Y. Go ahead and check out that Pato Ranking album, World's Best. I'm excited to hear about what you think of it. Let me know. Going on to our next story is, of course, Burn Up Boy. Now, this is big because Burn Up Boy has just made history as being the first African artist to be nominated seven times on the BET Hip Hop Awards for 2023. This African giant, as he self-acclaimed for himself, is the third highest number of nominations with DJ Khaled, trailing behind Drake with nine nominations, and Cardi B and Stain One Savage with lead of 12 nominations each. Burning Boy is not so far off, man. He has made history, and it looks like in this category, he will compete against Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, 21 Savage, and even Cardi B with others. I'll give you two of his other categories, which is Lyricist of the Year, Hustler of the Year, Collaboration for the Same Song, and of course, Best Hip Hop Video for the Same Tract, 
of course. Guys, I'm just excited. I don't know how else to share with you this news from Burn Boy because it shows that he is growing. Of course, we already know he's been Grammy nominated already. He's won his Grammy and now he's been nominated seven times in one award show. That is beautiful. Let's go on straight to our next story, which is BB Ninja. I cannot go without giving you a few updates on this. It's very, very thrilling. Let's go on to our BB Ninja All-Stars who are in Big Brother's house causing a mess right now. The Big Brother stars are always constantly in a tow. They're always fighting. There's always something to say about the stars. But let's go straight into those who have left for the week or who's up for nomination. You have Angel who is up for nomination. Pair 2 is up. Uriel has gone, of course. Kid Waya is gone. Shayi is also gone. And so is our favorite, IK. IK is gone. We don't know how it happened, but it seems like people had enough of them. And as you know, our next slide here, we have Biggie's guest. Tonali Baj is also gone out of the house. She's gone. Iblaye is still there and she's still safe. Venita, who is down below, is still up for eviction this week. Cross is good to go. We have our guest. Of course, Lucy has been sent home and so has Prince. Now we only have two of Biggie's guests left in the house, which are Kimopra and Omoshola, a.k.a. Shawls. Trust me, there's been a lot going on between the two of them, but I'll give you what I can now, which is about Kim, Oprah, Cross, and Perry. There's a triangle going on right now in Big Brother's house. I don't know who allowed this to happen, but Kim Oprah seems to be in the middle of these two gentlemen. We don't know what's going to happen next. And of course, Kim Oprah is in her feelings. Who doesn't love two guys, you know, swimming around her? But one thing that happened this week that stood out was the parrots that Big Brother kept in the house. He told all their secrets. Let's see how much we can take of this short clip coming after this. Take a look. Kim choose cross because he gave her space. If you put the both of them on a scale, no babe will pick C over P and Pereira is very fine. That's why I asked him. He doesn't look or appreciate himself in a mirror. He looks like a Pereira, but he has a personality of a weakling. He should bone face small. The babe will find him. Remember that Sunday at cross bone face. The babe worry, she talked my ear off. Perio needs somebody who is a true friend to help him. In case you were wondering, that is the pirate causing all the mess right now in Big Brother's house. You can see they're listening closely. I don't know what's going to happen, but don't forget to vote for your favorite housemate. Today is the last day. Tomorrow is eviction. We'll talk more about this next week. Now, I have a guest for you here on Zoom joining us. It's a very special lady. I've not met her before, but I do love her songs. Hope she can hear me. She's joining us all the way from overseas. There she is. Good morning, Dr. K. How are you doing this morning? Hello, can you hear me? All right, maybe she can, ma'am, if you can unmute yourself, then we can be able to hear you. Just unmute briefly so our viewers can um, have access to our interview this morning. Okay. Thank you. Good morning. Right. Thanks for having there me. There we are. Good to have you this morning. <laughs> How are you doing? Welcome to the weekend show. I am wonderfully blessed. Still a little bit half asleep here in Toronto. <laughs> I understand. That's great to have you here this morning, though. I just want to speak briefly about you as an artist. You are a gospel artist and a singer, and you've done so much work, you know, not even this year, but I've noticed that you've been working over the past few years. But now you are in yes. Toronto, as you mentioned. Can you share with me some, you know, challenges you may face or some moments you've had that makes you miss home here in Nigeria? Okay, um, I have. Uh, I was in Nigeria 2019. That was my last time being there, and um, always look forward to being there, going to the orphanages and donating all the nice things for the children. Like I'd like to put a smile on their faces yeah. and to ensure that everyone is doing good. But um, for the most part, I travel the entire continent, and uh, you know, when I'm not in Canada, I'm either in Africa, somewhere in Europe, or the Caribbean. Uh, I just love the work that I do, um, be the voice of the voiceless for uh, orphans and, you know, children who are yeah, street children and, you know, women and youths. So it seems like that's where your inspiration comes from, as you said, you know, those that don't have a voice. So if you can share with me about, you know, your confidence, where did your journey start from, Dr. K, as an artist, you know, as someone who wants to give back with your voice? So um, this started officially in 2003 um, during the height of the AIDS pandemic. Uh, I visited uh, West Africa, which included uh, Ghana and uh, Nigeria. And it was at that point where I was very moved. I did a yes. few concerts in Lagos um, and also in Accra. And, um, you know, I was asked as an artist, how would I be able to help with this crisis? And so uh, when I came back to Canada, I 
you know, formed the K. Morris Foundation, registered it. And so we uh, were able to broker $1.5 million in antiretroviral wow, drugs for AIDS victims. Great. And that so, great. yes, uh, we became a, a part of the solution to the AIDS crisis in Africa. That's so beautiful. You know, we're having a views of your current or your song, which is the greatest love story. Before I let you go, yeah. Dr. K, you have to give me some sort of a backstory to how you came about that the greatest love story. It's a beautiful title. What about that, you know, gave you an exciting time making that particular song? The greatest love story is really about the, the love of Jesus Christ for humanity, as it states in John okay. 3, verse 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son. And so... Uh, that has to be the greatest love story because he laid down his life for all humanity. As you all know that the first Adam failed, and so everyone is born into sin. And so when the last Adam came, which is Jesus Christ, he died, shed his blood on the cross, was uh, buried, resurrected. And so we became the righteousness of God because our sins are forgiven and we are able to be reconciled with God. And for that, I am just super grateful and excited to sing that song. It, it's just the heart of God, letting people know that they don't have to be condemned and there is hope. Jesus loves them. God loves them un unconditionally. That's that's what this song is all about. Indeed, that is so beautiful, Dr. K. <laughs> I have so much more to speak with you on, but we'll have to come have you back on the show. Before you go, you know, we've looked at these visuals for your greatest love story of uh, visuals. I want to just share with you that I love how you brought together the culture, you know. So we can't wait to have you back in Nigeria. We need a performance from you. Where are you looking forward to performing next? Well, I'm looking forward to performing in uh, Antigua. The wow, Caribbean. Antigua, the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. All right, it's so good to have you here this morning, Dr. K. My name is Aisha B. Thank you so much for what you do and your inspiration. It's been so lovely talking to you. We'll see you very soon again on the weekend show. Thank you. Thank you, Aisha B. Great to be here. All right. All right, that's all we have for your entertainment segment. I have to mix a bit of the two, as you know. My name is Aisha B. Don't forget to follow me at Aisha B on Instagram and on Twitter. Don't forget to follow The Weekend Show at Weekend Show NG. Stay tuned for more. Bye-bye for now. Yes, this is about the greatest love story that has ever been told. The greatest love story that came down from glory as it is written in John 3, 16. How Jesus left his splendor in heaven to die for a sinner like me. I do not deserve it. Only love can explain it. Why on the cross I was on his mind. But loving Jesus, I just want to tell you, yeah, that I'm so, yeah.